friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday and it is massive stock up haul. We literally needed so much when I got back from my trip to Hawaii, so I went to three stores this week, so I have quite the haul for you. If you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos per week, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Check out that description box down below for Nutrition Coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come in our Facebook group, we'd love to have you. So let's jump in to this massive grocery haul. I grabbed two of the Milo's Zero Sugar Sweet Teas. These are really, really good. It's very refreshing, and I thought that it would be nice to have something in my fridge for when I finish my water for the day. I also grabbed some more light butter for Troy. This is the butter that he prefers, and we were just about out. I did grab a can of pumpkin for my meal prep. I will have a meal prep this coming up Monday, so stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's for dinner and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So I needed a can of pumpkin. I also needed a can of black beans for my lunch meal prep and a can of tomato sauce for a dinner recipe. Light mozzarella cheese, this is for a recipe and I also decided to pick up a pound of ground chicken. I am out of ground turkey, out of ground chicken and sometimes I like to just fry this up and have it on hand for a protein so I picked up a pound of ground chicken. Walmart doesn't have good culture so I grabbed a huge tub of the Shamrock Farms low fat cottage cheese. I think this was like $6.70 at Walmart. I will tell you that I saw it at Costco for $5.99. So pretty similar in price, but I am completely out of cottage cheese and it is something I eat almost every day. I also grabbed a big jar of chicken gravy. I love doing the shredded chicken from Sprouts, mashed potatoes and gravy, and making kind of a KFC bowl without the corn, I guess. So I grabbed a big thing of gravy. And then I spotted these pumpkin spice baking chips. And I thought that I could use these in a recipe, maybe a fall baking recipe, or maybe we'll do something fun with these in a what I eat in a day. And then lastly, I picked up some prune juice for Troy. A big bag of the little mini Persian cucumbers. These are my all time favorite. I also grabbed a flat of raspberries. These are two for seven, I think, at Sprouts, which is a really good deal. And then their blackberries are actually two for four. So I picked up two small containers of blackberries. I found this Good Karma Pumpkin Spice Nog. So this is a plant-based nog. And it's only 45 calories for four ounces. And I thought that it would be really good in coffee in place of coffee creamer. So I'm excited to try it. It was on sale. They actually had quite a few pumpkin spice things. Just nothing that I had to have other than this. Of course, a big pack of the pre-shredded chicken. This is a staple for me. I actually looked at this at Walmart and it's way more affordable at Sprouts than at Walmart. So if you shop at both stores, highly recommend picking it up at Sprouts. And then as always, lots of produce. I picked up a couple of Honeycrisp apples. These are for my breakfast meal prep. Some zucchini for my lunch meal prep. Some cilantro, this is for a dinner recipe. A big thing of baby spinach, also for a dinner recipe and some celery and some asparagus. This trip to Costco was all about my dogs. I bought a lot of stuff for the dogs. They have these advent calendars and I went ahead and picked it up now because I'm afraid it's gonna sell out before the actual holidays. And this has eight dog toys and 16 bags of dog treats. And it's this big, huge advent calendar. I believe it was like $37.99. So I only got one. I'm probably going to grab a few more at Trader Joe's, but I thought this would be really fun for the holidays. I also grabbed some Lysol because we were completely out. They had these doggy delirious peanut butter banana bones, dog bones. So I grabbed those. They're huge bones. They have human grade ingredients. So I thought that I could break them up into three 
batteries for my dogs for a treat. I also grabbed another four pack of the Thomas English muffins. Like I said, Troy's been making breakfast sandwiches a lot. So we just throw these in the freezer so that they last a long time. I grabbed some Fairlife salted caramel shakes because we know I put a protein shake in my coffee every single morning. I was really hoping they had the premier protein pumpkin spice, but they didn't. So when I go to Sam's Club, maybe this next week, I'm definitely picking that up if they have it. You can order it off of Amazon. So I'll link it down below for you. I found the most affordable price on Amazon for the pumpkin spice shakes. I love them. And then I grabbed a big box of chips for Troy just so he had little individual bags of chips. Picked up the organic hard boiled eggs. We like to have pre-done, pre-shelled, ready to go hard boiled eggs on hand. There's two in a pack and it has 12 grams of protein. So a really good protein filled easy snack. I also grabbed some secret deodorant for myself. This is on coupon for $10 for four, which is a really, really good deal. I also grabbed some organic triple berry blend frozen berries. I like to make protein shakes as you guys know, and I prefer to put a little bit of frozen fruit in there. I also grabbed some more of my all time favorite string cheese, the organic Valley Stringles. This is the best string cheese, hands down best string cheese. It tastes so good and it's really affordable at Costco. I think it was $8.40 for the big pack. Two more of the Boyce's Bakery Bacon and Nutty Dog Treats. They, they still have these for $10, which is a really good deal. So I picked up two more bags. And then I also grabbed my dog some of the duck jerky. Really good ingredients in these. And again, I can break them up into smaller pieces for them. A big block of Colby Jack cheese for Troy's breakfast sandwiches, meat, cheese, and crackers. And then I also picked up the cheese slice variety pack. I really like this one because they're Swiss Colby Jack, Cheddar, and Monterey Jack. So it's a nice variety pack for $9.99. Also a big pack of blueberries. These were cheaper at Costco than they were at Sprouts. The vanilla extract is $11.99, which is great for this huge container. I think I paid $9 for a little tiny one, so I picked that up. They had the Sonoma Creamy Alfredo sauce on coupon. I think it, I believe it was $10 for both jars, so I thought that I could make some Alfredo pasta for us. A restock of my dishwasher detergent because we're running low. I love this Cascade one. It works really well. A big, huge container of my plain organic non-fat Greek yogurt for my yogurt bowls. I've really missed those on my trip. So I'm definitely going to be back to making those pretty much every day. Some mouthwash because I just used the last one that we had in backup. I picked up some Omeprazole for Troy for heartburn. This one doesn't bother his stomach. So I grabbed that. And then we also needed some Tylenol. This is on coupon right now at Costco as well for I think $12.99, which is a really good price. This is a huge container. A two pack of milk for Troy. I thought this was a better deal than buying a single gallon at Walmart. Some scent beads for the washer, also on coupon for $14.50 for the big container, which is an incredible deal. Of course, a big pack of toilet paper because what Costco trip doesn't involve Kleenex, toilet paper, or paper towels. Also not shown is a case of water, a case of Diet Coke, and a case of Coors Light. Troy put those away in the garage fridge already. So that is my huge massive haul from Costco, Sprouts, and Walmart. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for dinner. So starting today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner. Tomorrow, I'm actually making garlic herb chicken and asparagus. This just sounds so good. I missed veggies in Hawaii. I didn't eat as many as I should, so I'm super excited for that. And then on Monday, I'm actually making creamy chicken gnocchi soup. You guys will see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat In A Day, so stay tuned. Tuesday's a leftovers night. Wednesday, I'm making pasta. Thursday, we're doing tacos. And then Friday, we'll finish up any of the leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm really excited for these recipes. I am making a spiced apple baked oatmeal for breakfast. For lunch, I'm doing a sweet potato black bean burger. It even has some quinoa in there. And then for dessert, I am making pumpkin muffins. And supposedly, these are the best pumpkin muffins ever. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my good stuff from Walmart, 
Sprouts, Costco, we are stocked up, we are good to go. Pumpkin Spice was here, we had new food finds. Very exciting haul. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos per week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to all of my favorite things. Last but not least, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.